Hello again, friends, and welcome into another edition of Wrestling with Rusty. I'm talking loud because I'm not using my headphones. I'm using the built-in microphone that is on my computer so I can move around in case I get pissed. And you might say to yourself, well, Rusty, we come to your channel for the greatest reporting in professional wrestling because you are old school professional wrestling and you, you believe that a man should wrestle a woman and we should treat it not like the 1970s in terms of the moves, but we should treat it like the 1970s and 80s in terms of realistic professional wrestling, not this intergender men versus women bullshit or this grabbing the men's penis or this outlaw mud show going through 19 light tubes and tables and other type for furniture that all these outlaw independent mud show geeks do nowadays. Well, the reason I'm doing this is because last night I found out that my longtime friend, Charles Stevenson, who wrestles on the independent circuit as the freight train. You guys know him as the mentally challenged guy that uh, um, most notably got a little bit of a push under that comedy wrestling promotion that's now dead, thank God. $5 wrestling freight train, the guy that does choo choo. Well, now instead of working with Outlaw Mud Show, fat ass, $5 wrestling, Big Donnie and Little Donnie and Jack My, you know what, Donnie and all this other stuff and doing bad comedy wrestling, now freight train has graduated to. Intergender wrestling, intergender wrestling, where a man wrestles a woman. Well, first of all, in general, in order to get the wrestling business back to some credibility, not that it has much credibility these days, but in order to get the wrestling business back to some credibility, men need to do old school professional wrestling, 70 to, 70s and 80s, Southern style professional wrestling in which we treat it like a legitimate sport or a contest, even though it's not a legitimate sport or a contest. Men versus men, women versus women, tag team men versus tag team women, I mean tag team men versus tag team men, or tag team women versus tag team women, not men versus women. That promotes the perception of abuse on men versus women, plus in most cases, unless the woman is a bodybuilder like a Joni Lauer slash China was in the WWE many years ago, a realistic fight between a man and a woman, if we're trying to portray this as a realistic fight and not a damn comedy show, a man is always stronger than a woman, plus you don't want to promote men beating up women or anything there, I like that. That's why even in the stupid WWE, it's now men versus men and women versus women. It is also that same way in AEW and the NWA. And if you want to see wrestling the way it's meant to be, with very few mistakes, although they do some mistakes, watch the NWA on Fight TV, F-I-T-E, fight.tv, or YouTube, uh, until they get a regular TV deal. But that's not what I'm here for to talk about the NWA today. I'm here to talk about Freight Train and $5 Wrestling and all this other outlaw mud show crap. He told me when $5 Wrestling died that Jake Manning, the owner, I mean the, the promoter of $5 Wrestling, HighSpots.com owned the $5 Wrestling. He told me, Charles told me when it died. I'm not going to do no more comedy wrestling. Well, I guess Charles was right. He didn't do no more comedy wrestling. He's doing this intergender stuff in which he's now, uh, uh, back on October 6th, he fought this independent black girl named Sharice or Charlotte Roy Royal, even though Charles mispronounced it and, and said, Roe. Because Charles can't cut a promo the right way to save his life. But besides, I'm not here to bash Charles on his promos. I'm here to bash Charles because Charles is wrestling women. And men should not wrestle women. 
If you agree with me, please send me an email at rusty, R-U-S-T-Y, dot loudermilk. Make sure you put the dot before the loudermilk. And loudermilk is spelled L-O-U-D-E-R-M-I-L-K at yahoo.com. Again, rusty dot loudermilk, L-O-U-D-E-R-M-I-L-K at yahoo.com. Or call me at 724-826-0449. Intergender wrestling, comedy wrestling, outlaw mud show BS wrestling. That's got to go away. We need to return pro wrestling the way it was, the way it's meant to be. And if you don't, if you're too young to know the way it's meant to be, watch NWA. But if you're old like me and you know what the way wrestling used to be, especially in the southern parts of the country, and you want pro wrestling back, give me a call or send me an email. And most notably, call Charles at 704-906-7299 and tell Frank Train, Frank Train, not to do outlaw mud show bullshit into gender wrestling anymore. That's going to do it for me, Rusty. I'm out of here. We'll see you next time. For another edition of Wrestling with Rusty right here on YouTube. Until we meet again, my friends, God bless. Take care and happy wrestling, everybody.